Would you like to remember swearing in this game? This can be changed later. Yes, sure. Is it too loud? Too loud. This sounds like an accurate game. <laughs> Means we're gonna swear a lot. Num num, can you give me a... Uh, can you bring me water, please? I finished mine. Definitely been sworn at... Oh, I thought you meant that we're gonna swear. Enter your first name, Milk. E. Schmilk E. Huh? Who yelled at you? Milky? I want to be green, I like green. Oh, let's be a mustached man. Experience, intern. Should I do an intern? No. Uh, let's do my real birthday. Confirm! Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you're so cute! Cutie, you're so cute. Click here to check your emails first. Outmail. <laughs> Camilla Cowine. Welcome, newest employee of Quasta Quasar Quasar. Schmilky. Hey, that's no Schmilky. I wonder if your birthday is your password. <gasps> I have to do something. On behalf of Kazar Telecommunications, I am happy to welcome you to our family. You are part of our exciting new program, which allows our technical support specialists to work directly from home. Your new Spectrum system will connect you directly with our customers through the help desk tic ticketing system. Do you feel uh, like you're at, at work again? No, I feel like I'm very nice. Once you feel ready, simply respond to this email and I will remotely unlock the support desk to get you started. Because you use a private proprietary system, we expect you to uh, remain within the city limits with your spectrum device for security reasons. Sure, that reason. Your OS is state of the art and you can expect to see its potential grow over time. Finally, please note that your spectrum system remains the property of, Quas of Quasar, Quasar, I don't know how to call it. And as such, we expect you to take care of it. To ensure quality work, we may monitor your activities, including interactions with customers, emails, and any other activity we deem necessary. Hmm. Quasar? Quasar? I wonder how many times we will use have you tried turning it on and off again. <laughs> Welcome to the team! We know you will be a terrific uh, uh, addition to Quasar family. Okay. You will not be notified of incoming emails, you, are you certain? <laughs> yes. No, but the, she told me... I wanted to thank you for the opportunity to work for... Oh, that's what I'm writing. In Quasar. It's an honor to be part of a respectable organization such as this one. And I really hope my work can make a difference. Uh, where? Or... Or organization? Because <laughs> it's original, Nam Nam. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm sure that I have what it takes to go far, and I'll take every opportunity to prove it. Eh. Wanted to read the mail again. 
Oh, that was making a new one in box. Yes, so she said... Connect to the... Uh, once you feel ready. So I thought I need to do something else. Okay. Y yes! Oh, do you want me to... Just do this? Okay. Job status music. I do now. No, I already did. Oh, I wrote her a new one so it doesn't count. Thank you for your warm welcome. I am ready to start providing the very best tech support for Quasar customers. Yeah. Uh, access to the Quasar wiki. To all tech support specialists, I'm happy to announce that following your multiple requests, we have finally established an official Quasar wiki containing information about how to deal with common issues raised by customers. You will find the link to the wiki available directly in NetTraveler. We encourage you to uh, all to dive in and refresh your memory as needed. Quasar is grateful to have you all contribute to making this tech support team number one worldwide. I'm gonna follow protocol. I'm very glad you sent this to me. I am <laughs> such a suck up. I always want to make sure I do my best for Quasar. And guidance like this is exactly what I need to accomplish that. I feel like this is where I really belong. And I, I, have, to, I have you to thank for including me in this greater corporate family. Beautiful. Welcome. Oh, it's oh. Quasar. Quasar. Eh. You'll find support desk as a file attachment in this email simply click on the file name let up install the software once you run the application I'll be your first I'll be your first customer to ease you into the process as soon as you're ready I look forward to speaking <laughs> to you directly and getting my first few ticket completed oops send okay first of all I want to access the wiki so um, is it here Wallpaper world. <laughs> I want to make the music a little bit less loud. How do I do that? Oh no, what did I do? <gasps> oh, here. Um, full screen, screen effect, music. Let's do music. Eh, we don't need that much of a music. Um... Where? Oh! <gasps> Milky Way. Yeah, it's meant to be. Okay, now let's go back. Um, Quasar... Quasar... Being a tier 1 specialist. As a tier 1 specialist, you are the first line of communication with our customer. It is your job to try and to hone in on their problem and help our customers solve their pro their issues, not problem, from a distance. To do so, we are providing access to our uh, patent... Pat pat patented? Yes. A patent. It is, yes. Isn't it a patent? Quasar support desk software which will help you provide the very best in customer support through chat windows. Note that you will not be able to directly type any responses. Instead, you will have access to a series of pre-established answers which will help increase your response rate. You'll be thankful once you're balancing multiple complaints at once. Remember that our customers are our lifeblood and it is uh, imperative that you remain 
courteous, courteous at all times. Avoid making a user wait unnecess unnecessarily. And use the small talk dialogue option when a delay is needed. Oh wow. I, I feel like I've, I've been talking to these bots a lot. And I assume they were bots. You also have a yes and no option when they ask questions. The system will take care of inter uh, interpreting their query. Your senior manager may provide you with additional dialogue option should the situation require it. Base solution. Restarting a phone is often the easiest way to solve a problem. Example for of problems include difficulty accessing the internet, inability to make calls, sound issues and more. Alternatively, sometimes an update can reset some param uh, parameters without them realizing it. Changing setting is an easy solution. Low power. <laughs> it's normal for a phone for a phone to gradually lose its charge after using it for some time. Charging the battery is an easy way to put it back into top shape. Otherwise, you may also ask the customer to charge their setting to change their setting and turn off the, uh, some features. What does trite mean? Oh, hello, welcome to Quasar. My name is Schmilk and I would be happy to assist you. Hi, my phone takes forever to charge. Yes. You seem like a nice person. <laughs> I'm happy that you would say that. <laughs> so while we wait, how, how are things, mister? Who knows? Huh? Get it? Who? <laughs> A knee slapper. Um, what happened? How did it happen? I guess it's just old. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't understand. That doesn't uh, really. <laughs> yeah, but where is it? Service? Oh. You might need to charge your battery. Oh, change your battery. I've already tried with another battery and it doesn't work. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> yep, try that, didn't work. You could try to remove the battery and put your phone in rice overnight. I don't think that's going to solve my problem. I am very sorry about this inconvenience. The tier 2 specialist will handle this for you. Oh yeah, thank you. Ticket fail. <laughs> Wait, she wrote you something in the end. Well, I missed it. Okay, let's try this again. Ask a question. Okay, problem. I'm here to help. What can I do for you? I can barely keep my phone on for a few hours before it shuts down. What happened? I guess it's just old. You can reduce your battery usage by turning off services like Bluetooth and GPS. Sure, I need to go, but I'll try that and I'll let you know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, phone mishandling. Customers sometimes mishandle uh, their phones, damaging them in some capacity. Thankfully, sometimes there are measures they can take themselves to put their devices back in function in functioning state. Um, here are a few of the answers available to you. Wet phone. Sometimes simply drying the phone can make the function and them functional again. I need to move that. Um, sometimes uh, broken screens. Many users are not aware that stores sell kits which allow to repair broken phones and they may be open to the option. You can also help them further by offering the Produ uh, procedure upon request. Lost phone. Most lost phones are within range of the customer. They just can't find it. Many forget that simply calling yourself can sometimes help. Wow. I won't try it because it will take too long. Factory setting. Um, in some in instances, a phone may have 
so many problems that the only solution becomes to reset it back to its factory state. Many users will be against the pro procedures, however, since it will erase everything on their phone. Nevertheless, there are a few issues which may be, so may be solved by this approach. Um, locked out of the phone after losing password, phone getting corrupted after a bad update, rebooting the phone, not solving the, an issue. Factory resetting is an extreme solution, but it does work in many instances. Some customers may not know how to perform a factory reset, however, so you can offer the procedure through the list of replies. Um, it is pretty like thorough. I'm learning a lot. I know how to fix my phone now. Ticket escalation. Should the problem be impossible to resolve with the tools available to you, you may then escalate the claim to our tier 2 specialists who will provide further assistance. This should only be used as a last resort. However, when all other solutions failed of, or, the, or for situation where there are no proper solutions like a lost phone. Okay, using widgets. Widgets are small programs designed to provide quick access to information. They are open from the widget application. Spectrum OS system comes equipped with this widget. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we can put that. On, and then we can go here. Um, wait. Which one? Uh, oh, I didn't. I was looking for it here. Oh. Okay, waiting. Hi, this is Schmilk typing. What can I do for you, Schmilk? I hope you're settled in and ready to solve some. I couldn't find records of the previous employment. Do you need any help with the support desk system? You can answer using the... No. No, I'll be fine. All right, I understand. It's not too difficult. It's not too difficult a system anyways, and I'll be looking over and providing help as needed. You should receive... Oh God, what? should receive your ticket next okay um um hi there i have a problem um i wanted to say hi but sir what seems to be the problem my phone screen is cracked what happened You're awfully paranoid? Do you think I did something on purpose? Now I simply want to understand what happened to the phone. I really don't know what happened. Um, new headset, dry phone, factory reset, call you. <laughs> You're talking absolute nonsense right now. Like... Yeah, I understand, but replaced... Wasn't there another thing? No, it's replaced screen, and if you cannot replace the screen, then you should send him to the higher... Level. You will need to replace your screen then. No, there was uh, something... I'm not comfortable changing the screen myself. Any other suggestions? Uh, how, to how to change screen. You can buy an install... Oh, he said it wasn't... Even if I had the tools, I can't do it. Um, no, there should be an option. Okay, well, I want to offer you the best service possible, so let me escalate the issue. Okay. Wait, I got an email. Please confirm your registration. Receive notification concerning a subscription real estate newsletter to confirm the registry. <laughs> okay. Howdy, I have a problem. I'm here to help. What can I do for you? 
I'm not sure I haven't been able to turn my on my phone since this morning. What happened? Nothing really happened, it just stopped working. Um, reboot phone. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I can do the off part, no problem, but the on portion will be tricky. Okay, so if you can turn it on, you can't do the settings. You might need to change your battery. I can't really afford that. Any other solution? Um... I don't know if... I don't see how that could help here. Well... Factory reset? Okay. I thought it like it's it happens rarely where I need to escalate. Is this like being back at work now? <laughs> uh, Woo, twenty five bucks. <laughs> no, not exactly the same, but oh, look at that. Why does your star rating only go to five Schmidt deserved? Oh, Simply phenomenal! Oh, that's so sweet! But the other one is Quasar really needs to hire new tech support. It took them forever before getting back to me. The platinum is second, yeah. Um, in my tech support experience, about 50% of the issues result in service or replacement. If you like, I can call you and ask you why my PC won't work after I cooled it down with Coca-Cola. <laughs> um. I actually need to pee. Schmil, congratulations on successful first day. We'll make brilliant specialist out of you yet. Looking at your tickets, I realized that we installed the wrong version of support desk which didn't include the warranty option. I've taken the liberty of updating it remotely so you should be good to go. Here is some basic information about the two types of uh, warranties our customers can access. Extended warranties. Cover every issue a customer may encounter. If you are unable to troubleshoot problems, it should always be escalated. Wait, if you are unable to troubleshoot... Okay. Standard warranties. Only cover technical support and not problems caused by the customer themselves. Therefore, cracked screen wet or lost phones should never be escalated. Oh. Instead, simply reply that you cannot help them. Wow. Problem occurring from natural use, such as batteries charging slowly, are not covered under any warranty. Of course, customers with no warranty should never be escalated. However, you are still expected to offer them a tier 1 expertise. After all, we are in the business of keeping our customers satisfied. I know you will continue to impress this company with your achievements. Sorry. I'm very glad you sent it this to me. <laughs> I always want to make sure I do my best for Quasar. And guidance like this is exactly what I need to accomplish. Oh, is this the same? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'm not very original. I do have to pee, so... Uh, wait, what is that? I've received notification. Oh, I already seen that. Isn't that... Um, Jesse Ping? Whatever his name is. Um... Here, I paused. I'll be right back. So, don't forget to check your emails every day. Um, oh, they didn't add anything. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's start. Boop. Boop. 
I'm, I'm gonna go through everything. I'm not getting any sound from my phone, no ring, no, no ringtone or anything. How did it happen? I don't know, it's technology, it just happens. Do you have a warranty on your device? Yeah, I made sure to get the best warranty possible. You can change the volume by going into the setting menu. Alright, I guess I can try. So while we wait, how are things, Mrs. Per Perals? Nope, still can't hear anything. I'm always working, unfortunately. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Sure, give me one moment. One thing we learned in tech support was that even if you know the issue will result in service, you still want to go through troubleshooting with the customer to establish trust. It didn't work. Um, new headset? Have you tried connecting a different headset? You don't understand the phone itself doesn't make any sound. Yeah, I thought so. Factory reset? You'll have to factory reset your phone to solve the problem. But, but, I don't want to lose everything on my phone. Should I... escalate it? I want to offer you the best possible, so let me... Nice. Immediately I answer. Hey, Keith. Why, hello, young lady. How does he know I'm, I'm a lady? I hear you can help me with my cellular telephone. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. You're the right place. S Spended. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was the right place. I just received this brand new cellular phone for my 17th birthday. He doesn't look 17. Uh, 17. <laughs> 17. My son explained it to me. Of course, but I'm still a bit confused about it. He's an engineer, you see, so he's very much used to all these devices. Me, I was in grade school. Sir, what seemed to be the problem? We didn't have all those fancy computers we have today. The kids were happy using pencil and paper and it wasn't always easy to read uh, uh, what they wrote, but Just at least... Do you have a warranty on your device? I'm not quite certain what you mean by that. Okay, it doesn't have. What happened? How did it happen? <laughs> How did you not have a warranty? <laughs> I'm happy you would ask me that. I've had a long and f fruitful... No, no, the problem. Okay, okay. That's the problem is... is uh, no, but the just I don't think I can help him. Yes, don't help him. This is a lot more like the types of calls I took. <laughs> Me, I was... Oh my god. I understand you're frustrated about this. Should I just... Am I supposed to... Just Good. some help you were. He was just disappointed of me. No, it was just like he's an old person. He just talks so much on the phone, then complains. May yeah, I understand? Um. Just give me
asking for his bank account. It's mean. How may I help you today? I hope you're a wizard, because nothing so, uh, short of a miracle can uh, save this one. I'm here to help. What can I do for you? I cannot connect to the internet. Do you have a warranty on your device? I didn't buy it that long ago, so it's still under warranty. Standard warranty, that is. What was the problem? Sorry, I forgot already. Can connect to the internet. Okay, so settings can help. Maybe you accidentally changed an option in the setting menu? Okay, that's a good idea. You've been most helpful. Oh, nice. <laughs> didn't expect it to be that easy. Shmilk, I finally managed to go through to you. Uh, you would think that getting in touch with my own sister should be much easier. Look, I'm sorry, Idan. Is that Idan? I'm sorry to contact you at work, but you're not answering my calls and ignoring me in social media. I don't want to. I'm sorry, but I can't help uh, help you out. <laughs> Milk, we're not talking about any old issue here. This is mom we're talking <laughs> And how dare you be so ungrateful and make it someone else's problem. Take responsibility at once. I'm afraid I'm all out of solutions. You know what? You can... I feel bad, but I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Why am I not answering my personal phone? I finally broke down and called tech support. Please don't let me down. I'm here to help. What can I do for you? Now I wonder what, what was the problem. My phone works fine except I can't make calls with it. How did it happen? <laughs> Nothing special. Do you have a warranty on your device? I didn't buy it that long ago, still in warranty, standard, okay, uh, setting. Good morning, sorry I didn't have... I've been very busy, you can call me Spence and I'm basically the tech guy for your tech guy. Are you presenting solution from a list? Uh, am I supposed to... Trying to improve my response time, better save you. Look, you just don't take me for phony and we'll get along fine. Um, what did you want? Enjoying your time? Yes. Just a second, okay. Good to hear, important to be happy with work and on that note I'm ready to Santa Claus you if you're interested. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Can I read what you're writing? Oh my fucking god! Uh, ah! Can I read what he wrote? Like, what the fuck? Seriously. Good to hear. I'm ready to Santa Claus you if you're interested for a price that is. That sounds like a scam. I've got a nifty website for you. It's called Spence's Oasis. I'm pretty well connected in the business and can provide you with upgrades to your system for a price. Oh, okay. So maybe it's just upgrades. Uh, all I need is for you to pay small membership. Mm, that sounds like a scam. 